Hi everyone and welcome to the Coleman Music Centre here in Gertrude County Sligo. My name is Siobhan O'Donnell and I'm a teacher of the barrel and singing here at the Coleman Music Centre. And uh, in today's lesson I'm going to teach you a few tunes on the barrel and um, I'm going to try a jig pattern for you and I'm going to try a reel pattern. And that's because most of the tunes, especially around here in this part of the world in County Sligo, most tunes that we play are jigs and reels, so it's good to have quite a few different rhythms that you can play on the baron that goes well with those types of tunes. So I started the baron myself, oh, when I probably was about 14, and I was influenced by a lot of the baron players that are in this community. So uh, the likes of Ted McGowan, who has a pub here in Gertine, and Junior Davy are from County Sligo, playing lovely styles that accompany the music really well. So. Uh, no matter where you've come on your journey so far, hopefully in today's lesson you'll get a few more tips of some different uh, ways that you can accompany the baron. And like you know yourself, there's lots of different styles, there's lots of different types of barons, and there's lots of different types of sticks. So hopefully now in this class, I'll go through um, a few little tips as well as we go along. So let's get started. So we'll try the jigs first, okay? And um, what I like to do is... I would be considered a player that plays a, lot, a bit of a bassier tone. So I have my baron tuned quite low, all right? So if you want to try that yourselves, okay? That's because I use the back of my hand, the skin hand, to get different tones. And that's an important part of the style of um, music and baron playing that I play. So having your baron skin quite low is good. And then as regards sticks, for jigs, I like playing a stick like this, and uh, we call this in baron terminology a hot rod, okay? So it's a stick that's got rods here at it, and when you hit the skin, you get a kind of a almost clicky sound as you hit. So if you have something like this, um, you might take it in your hand now, and we'll have a go with it, okay? And I'll talk more about sticks later on. So I'm going to start off with a jig, and um, jig patterns, we count jigs in... Uh, sets of three and so we go one two three four five six and we put the emphasis on the one two three four five six so traditionally it's played like this so one two three four five six down and up so if you just want to warm up there quickly just having your backhand quite uh, nice and loose okay now i'm going to teach you um, a rhythm that I like to use, and I use it a lot for tunes that would be played in a minor key, okay? So it's putting the emphasis in a slightly different place rather than the down and the up there, okay? So just giving you an idea how you can play jigs differently depending on what tune it is. And it works really nice for minor tunes, which um, I'm going to demonstrate for you after a while. So we give it a try. The rhythm I'm going to do is... So I played that pattern twice over, and that brings us to a one part of a tune, and then I'm going to repeat the same for the next part of the tune. Okay, so it goes nicely. It's down, da 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 down, down, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, down, down, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you want to try along with me, so we're putting the emphasis on the one and the three this time. So it goes, I'll slow it down for you. One, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Try that with me. So the emphasis on the one and three. So the two, there is no two in this, okay? So it's kind of syncopated jig rhythm. So we're going. 
one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one. I'm gonna try it a few more times and I'll break it down even further after that, okay? So the first part is one, three, four. Okay, and in the back hand, I'm going out for the one, three, and then on the four, I'm coming in. So it goes like this, one, three, four. So down, down, up, and then you're back into your regular one, two, three, four, five, six pattern that you have in jigs, but all the strokes are what we call flat strokes. There's no emphasis on the one or the four. So it's one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Six, one, two, three. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So think of it, uh, the pattern is in two parts. So we've got our first part, which is down, down, four, five, six. Okay, down, down, four, five, six. And the next pa part of it is keeping our hand in. We're going to finish it off with flat strokes of one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all the same, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we move down to the down, down, four, five, six. Off, off, one, two. So sometimes the hardest part is zinking up the two. But once you get used to it, it's, um, it does get easier. So I want you to try that with me. Again, just a different way of thinking about how you play jigs. So that's the basic of the rhythm I'm going to teach you today. I'm going to spruce it up with a few triplets and maybe a bit of skin work, okay? So once you've got the foundations of that uh, rhythm, uh, we'll uh, work on some trickier bits with it, okay? So keep going with me. So remembering the hand off. Off, off, into three, into three, into three, off, off, into three, into three, into three, off, off, into three, into three, into three, off, off, into three, into three, into three. A few more times. Okay, hope that's going well. We're now going to practice it with a bit of music. And the tune, I'm going to lilt a tune, and lilting in um, is a great tradition that I, that was, it's a form of Celtic mouth music that I would have learned from my father and my grandfather lilts as well. And it's a way of expressing music through the mouth, okay? So it's like humming the music, but you're using diddles and diddles and duns. So just in case you're wondering what I'm doing. And um, it's a great way for getting tunes into your head. So as I'm teaching you the pattern, you can also be learning the tune. And today's jig that I'm going to teach you is called the hag and the churn. And it, the rhythm goes really, really nicely with it. And uh, it suits the tune really well because there's not much like change in melody in this tune. So having a, um, a baron rhythm that's like a little bit more kind of flat and not moving up and down in tone works really well, okay? It changes then as we go along, which um, I'll show you then. Okay, so we're gonna go. Da da doodle dum da dee doodle dee dum dum doodle dum doodle dum doodle dee die dee doodle dee dum doodle dee dum da doodle da doodle da doodle dee doodle dee dum doodle da doodle dee doodle dee dum doodle da doodle dum doodle dee dum doodle da doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee dum the repeat of the tune dee dee doodle dee dum da doodle da doodle Okay, so hum along yourselves when you're practicing after, the, after you watch these videos that you can uh, hum along that tune and it's a new tune for your repertoire and especially if you are playing other instruments then you've got that tune now always. So there's, I was doing a few variations, you might have um, 
heard it, and I'm going to teach you that and show you what you could do uh, in terms of variations for that tune, but it works in principle for any types of jigs that we do. Okay, so working on the rhythm again, we have... All right, that's the bare phrase that I taught you earlier, and we're going to um, add bits to that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the melody of this tune, so we're going to go down, down, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, let's have a go. What I'm doing on my backhand is down, down, in, two, three, sorry. Down, da, 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 so try that on its own. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can almost hear the melody of the tune. And that can be really effective when you're playing along with a tune. Do, 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 do. Try it along and sing along. Da, la, 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 la. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what I'm doing there is I'm pushing in. Do, 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 do. I'm not moving up and down. I'm just simply, I'll do it just by hitting it once over. I'll go. Do, 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 do. Okay? So something to, to try can be work really nicely. So we're going. Okay, so that's where it comes in. Down, ba, do, 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 da, stay there, down, and again. Do, 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 do. So it happens the second time round. Down, down, one, two, three, da, do, 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 down, down, one, two, three, do, 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 do. So trying that at the second time round. Let's go. One, two, three. something else to it so we've got the down down one two three keeping the basic phrase and we're adding stuff to it all the time to make it sound a bit more traditional and I suppose a bit more advanced okay so I'm going to throw in a triplet for you so it goes down so triplets are um sounds like this you might have noticed doing a triplet in the past. You might go. Now I'm assuming that you've done them before and there's lots of different types of triplets that you can do. I'm gonna show you how I do a triplet, which is slightly different, and then we'll stick them into the phrase we just learned as well, okay? So the old triplet is using the top of the baron stick. So you're going, it's between the one and the the down and the up stroke between the one and the two, there's a, you hit the top, okay? So there's no extra rhythm you're putting in, okay? You're just adding a bit of an ornamentation to it. So it's, that's your triplet. Some people call it a roll. I'm gonna show you how to do the triplet the way I do it. I want you to try it. It's the dragon across the skin. So I get the barrel on stick and you can just try it. I won't spend too long on it, but I do my triplets like this. And it's the same purpose as um, on a drum kit, letting it fall across the skin. Loosening the grip. That's the sort of principle, okay? So you're kind of dragging it across, so. If you wanna try that, just try that for 20 seconds. And don't think about it too much, it'll happen almost by accident. So people often ask me about that one, how do you do it? Um, and when, when I'm playing, the, some people might uh, notice that I play it a small bit different. So, you know, I always played it like that. And um, 
I find for jigs, it's sometimes it, it works really nice. It's a, it's, it's a more subtle type of triplet rather than getting a different sound off the top of the stick. I like to keep the same sound, so. Okay, that's enough practice. We'll throw it into um, the tune. And there's no right and wrong place to put it in. Uh, I would, whatever feels right. So I'll choose a place and, and we can try it there. Okay, so let's go. We do that the first set. Okay, so we're gonna go. Down, down, do, 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 do. And at the start of the first, the second set of sixes. There. Down, down, one, two, three. There. And I'll do it the other way, triplet. So you can see, slightly different sound. So it all depends on what stick you're using. For hot rods, the way I play the triplets can be really nice. So we know where we're putting it in. Okay. And that's about as complex as I'm going to get with the stick hand, okay? I'm going to do a little bit more with the skin hand to keep you thinking so we get that rhythm going in our head and it's all about muscle memory once you go through that a lot of times you'll almost do it without thinking and then the skin hand will be much easier after that down down one two three treble and one two three down down one two three treble and I'll slow it down a small bit one, two, two, two. down down one two three I remember the good thing about these videos are you know, you can go back and watch this as many times as you need to. If you didn't pick it up the first time, okay, because it can be quite tricky, maybe, you can go back and watch it again. Down, down, one, two, three, treble, and one, two, three. Now put it in with the skin hand, and it sounds like this. That's a bit trickier. Now we're going the do 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 and the triplet. Try that a few times. So when I'm saying diddly, it usually that means it's um, I'm doing a triplet. Like as if even if I was playing it on a whistle or a fiddle, I would put the ornamentation. So the triplet is a form of ornamentation. So you can even transfer that onto the barrel. Diddly dee doodle dum, diddly dee doodle dum. So from the beginning. Down, down, one, two, three, diddly dee doodle dee. Down, down, one, two, three, diddly dee doodle dum. Okay, so we go up to that point again. Down, down, one, two, three, diddly dee doodle dee. Down, down, one, two, three, do. times. Okay, so that's the foundations and I'm going to do a little bit with the second part uh, just to give you a little idea before we move on to doing our reels, okay? So for the second part, all right, a lot of tunes, when you're accompanying tunes, the second part tends to be in a higher, higher notes in every instrument. So you kind of want to reflect that with the baron skin and people usually do that as well, okay? So on the second part, I'm going to keep finding notes and remembering here with baron, sometimes you can actually tune to the note uh, the pitch of the instrument and to the actual key that the music is played in. So if you are able to do that, it can be really effective then to play in that key and play your one, two, three, four, five, sixes in that key. So for the second part, we're going and then we're going all 
flat strokes. Doodle da doodle dum dee dum. But I'm gonna mess with the dynamics. Doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee doodle dum. So sometimes people go doodle do 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 doodle dee doodle dum. You might be used to seeing this. I'm gonna teach you something different. What I'm trying to do is build dynamics for so that the tune changes or repeats, and it works quite nicely sometimes. So second part. Then you're back into the first part. So it's a nice little trick when you're playing the second part of tunes. Here we go again, picking a higher note. I hope you've enjoyed the jigs. The important things are to, rem to remember are making sure your baron is tuned quite low so that you have space to uh, push in on the back hand, okay? So I usually push in with my heel and that gets the differences of tone, okay? Sometimes you might think you have to go like slide up and down to get different tones. Not all the time, okay? If your baron is a good quality and a, a skin that you can tune down low, then by pushing in, you can get the different tones. So that's something to think about, all right? For any different types of tunes, it doesn't have to be jigs. Um, and the stick as well, the choice of stick can be um, an important choice depending on what tune you're playing. And in that tune, the important things there to remember are the dynamics and the melody, how it changes, and then building up the um, power and the dynamic at the end so that it gives like a kind of a feel that, you know, the music is, is gathering momentum and energy and it can be really, really good. So a couple of tips there for the jig, a couple of tricky little bits maybe as well. So go back and have a look at the jig part and have a go at that pattern. And I hope that you get on well and you'll get a chance to use it someplace in a session very, very, very soon. We're going to continue on with the reels next. And before I do, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about sticks as well, because I do get a lot of questions um, about what type of sticks you, you play with and what you like the best. So this might be something that you're familiar with, is a, a stick that um, is flat on both sides here, like it doesn't have any ends that you might see some old traditional style sticks. And the purpose of it is to get a poppier, clearer, crisp sound off the baron skin. So a lot of top end, what we call top end players, I'll demonstrate for you now, would use this type of stick, okay? Because it gets a lot of those top kind of tones. So if you're somebody who is thinking about performing as a, a kind of a baron solo, you'll see it gets a lot of these tones that you may not get with other sticks, especially sticks that have a kind of a bell end uh, at the bottom of it. You won't get a clear tone off the skin. So just something to think about. Now, I wouldn't play with it uh, too much because I have a different type of style, but it might be something that you might think about. Um, I have a little bit more of a traditional looking stick here, okay? I like it sometimes for when I'm playing reels. I think that sometimes it works if you want to get if a really traditional sound and session. And if you want it, it's really good for double ended triplets, you know, the ones using the top. 
and gets it gives it a real traditional baron sound so famous uh, players such as johnny ringo mcdonough you could google him if you don't know him already and uh, he would have a traditional style and would play with sticks that look similar to this and a similar style there of double-ended okay so just giving you an idea this is a, a four four real pattern that i'm playing and this would be a traditional style which is still so effective and beautiful for certain types of tunes okay so i've kind of based my type of playing and my patterns on this type of style mainly okay so that's the two-ended style there and you'll see it's a bit larger at the end so it doesn't have the same crispy sound as the thinner sticks okay and then i just thought i'd show you this other stick i've s i probably have a hundred sticks and um i always go back to the same three or four that i use depending on the tune i would use something like this for a song okay so it's got like a brushy end here okay and um sometimes you have a felt tip and i'll play a little bit of what it sounds like so it's nice and soft you can still use the wooden part and then it's got the bristles so it's kind of like a jazzy drum sound so it can be really nice if you're doing a song or accompanying maybe a slower kind of a, a slow tune so something to think about and um, look at the sticks they come in lots of different shapes and sizes but i would recommend having those sticks i showed you in your repertoire and um yeah i'll teach you a couple of reels now i'll go back to the stick that is my go-to stick and i love it because it has a little groove in here for my thumb somebody made it for me in australia many many years ago and uh he was a pipe maker and he just took my stick and took the measurements of the length that I actually prefer to play and where I ho how I hold the stick and um, it just really really as soon as I picked it up I really liked it and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go back to my hot rod which which is my stick my go-to stick so you can choose whatever stick you like all right for this um, for this for the reels so I'm gonna teach you my basic reel pattern Johnny McDonough, I showed you his, and what we call in barrel on terms, we call that motor rhythms. Okay, it's your own type of kind of groove that once you start playing the barrel and you hear music, you kind of get a feeling of the, the beats and where the, um, where the emphasis are, okay? So I'm gonna teach you my one, and uh, I'm gonna teach you the, the start of it, and we're gonna add variations to it afterwards. So, and it's kind of something based on, I suppose, like, listening to music and kind of wanting the music to flow and not interfering too much with it, okay? Okay, so again, have the barons tuned quite low. So the first part is down, down, up, down, down. And we're gonna repeat that and we're gonna put in skin at the end, all right? As we go through it as well. So we're going to go, the stick part is down, down, up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And I want you to put a little, little step up and the up. So give it a little bit of a harder flick up. So it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Do nothing with the skin hand yet. When we introduce the skin hand, it makes such a difference, and you'll hear it very soon. Let's get our stick hand first. So it's down, down, up, down, down. Let's get that going in our muscle memory. Down, down, up, down. And those downs don't, I'm not going to follow through too much. I'm just, the strokes are quite flat, and by flat, I mean we're not. I'm not going like this. Keep them, keep the wrist nice and at ease and just kind of moving about that much, okay? We're not doing too, the strokes aren't that big, okay? So keeping it nice and loose. So down, down, up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, down. So 
it's a type of syncopated rhythm at the beginning. Down. We'll try that a few times. And the more you do it, the more you kind of get the feel for the groove and for the pattern. almost tripping into the next down. So really important, if you're not sure um, about this and you don't have it yet, you should pause the video and have a go and really master that before you start putting in the skin hand. Because once the skin hand goes into it, it can get a little bit uh, confusing and overwhelming maybe until you're used to the pattern. Okay, but if you're going good, we'll keep going and we'll stick in the skin hand with it now. Okay, so, so it gives a completely different sound. So what I'm doing with the skin hand is, I'll slow it down even further. We're going off. So up, down, up, down, in, down, in, off, in, off. So on this side, it's off, in, off, in, off, in, off, in, off, in, off, in, off. So down. And I'll break it down even more. So we're going off. Down, up, do that part. Down, down, up. And you're put, that second part is off. And it's not just in, you're pushing when you are doing your ups. You're going down, down, up. Do, 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 do. Practice that for me. Down, down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. So now there's quite a few things going on. You've got your skin. And you've got your upbeat to think about. So down, down, up, down, down. That's the end of it. Okay, so the end part is easier. So the last part is off, on, both dance strokes. Off, on. Have you got that? Off, on. So we're going to put those two together. And it goes like this. Down, do, 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 do. We do that a few times. And we speed it up. So right now, it might, you might think it doesn't really fit with maybe Irish traditional music, but once you hear it with the music, you'll, you'll, you'll see how it works really nicely. At the moment, it sounds very groovy. Okay, we're going to speed it up a bit. So this pace here is kind of like a hornpipe. It's like a slower 4-4 four, four time. And you could use this for rhythm for hornpipes sometimes. Down. Keep playing along. Now I'm going to speed it up again. That's a nice bouncy rhythm now. So it's got a nice bounce to it. So if you're playing along there with a musician, they quite like that, like nice little steady, um, bouncy rhythm. I'm going to add a few little bits into it now in a minute, but I'll give you a demonstration of how it sounds with music. Doodle, laddie, 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 doodle
Okay, so now we're going to add little bits in, because if you keep doing that through, all, through it all, you're going to end up, um, I suppose the music changes, so you might want to change along with it, and it makes it a little bit more interesting. So we're going to add in then the basic um, uh, strokes that you would learn for uh, a reel, in, so it's that one, two, three, four, sets of four. So we're going to put a couple of one, two, three, fours in the middle of that pattern. So let's, I'll make up the phrase now that could work really nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go. Do that twice. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down. So all I'm doing is adding four sets of four at the end of it, okay? And it works really nicely. So it's, it just changes it again and helps move along the music. So we're going with the, my pattern and then four sets of fours. Okay, so we're gonna go down, down, up, down, down, twice. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, four, 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 okay? For the fours, we're gonna push in. And the emphasis is on the one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to push out that but last down. to think about is once you've got the rhythm and the sticking it's the skin hand that can be the tricky part so don't forget to push it in because it's very important to get that that because that's what makes the rhythm uh, really effective And now we're going to put in a triplet as well, okay? So just like what we had in the jigs, um, a good foundation is to get your rhythm, get your skin hand going, and then work on any ornamentations that you think would work nicely, okay? So let's try. We'll do a triplet back into the groove, and it can work really nicely. So you're going. Grooves, the start of the grooves. You're going. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, triplet. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. I just did a traditional one there, so you can see. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So it's between the three and the four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. So it's right at the end. And it it's a nice little jump back into the groove. It'll work really nicely once you get the hang of it. So if, uh, we want to put it at the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, triplet. 
Let's put it all together then. We'll do it really slowly and we build it up, then we'll try it to the music, okay? Are you ready to go? Here we go. So one, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And pushing in at the end. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, triplet. So we're pushing in the skin at the end to give it even more emphasis. at that pace maybe another two times after this and then we speed it up one more time time. And I threw in another armentation at the beginning that you could maybe try out as well. Okay, um, I'm going to go through the main parts of that rhythm and just talk you through the important parts and then I'm going to hum the tune for you. Okay, we'll pick a reel after that. So the important parts are getting the groove off, learning the groove, learning the sticking of it. Once you have that and it's in your muscle memory, the next part is to introduce the skin hand. And I think the skin hand is probably the trickiest part. And from teaching in the past, it seems to be the, the hardest part uh, to grasp sometimes. So the skin, just knowing when to push it in and out and the right time when it's effective. And then the last part then would be the extra add-ons with the, the sticking hand. So putting in your triplet, putting it back into the ornamentation and maybe, um, you know, widening out your strokes as you go back to repeat the passion. And it works really, really well. So um, I'm going to hum or play a traditional tune for you and I want you to try it along with us and remembering again all the different parts and if you need to go back on the video as many times as you need to that that's that's even better again okay so the tune I did was um, a really good tune called Jim Donahue's so I'm going to try that tune it's a Sligo tune as well so daddy Daddy, do 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 do
So I hope that uh, you've enjoyed today's lesson and um, it's great. I'd like to thank uh, the Coleman Music Centre here for giving me the opportunity to do a class here. And um, it's great because this very stage I'm in here, I remember playing here uh, for the very first time performing on stage when I was 14 and it was right on this stage. So I'm just after thinking about that. So um, the Coleman Centre here, you can get lessons, you can, um, there's a great so shop here that actually sells some of the baron sticks that I showed you as well. So um, the main thing is, with this video, go ahead, practice as much as you need to. It's great to stop the video and definitely get the rhythms, taking your time with it and going back, especially if you're struggling to put it, putting it all together. So thanks yourselves for joining us. And um, I'm going to say goodbye from County Sligo. And I wish you the best in your Baron journey. And I hope we all get to play together maybe in a session someday. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.